All right. World of Warcraft raid ranking. You see this on this channel. Well, not this particular one, but you've seen tier makers on this channel a fair bit. So you probably know how this works. S is the top. Means it's awesome. D is at the bottom. It means it's not uh, very good. Now, we are... There's several, several different ways to rank these raids. How are we going to rank these? Um, what would... S um, through D, largely. No, 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 obviously. But I mean, what... How do we say what is good? It, is it because of the mechanics of the fight was it, good? It is entirely... Or the design of the raid was good? I think it's just... It, do we want to align it. the difficult? Yeah, we could align on the... Diff so no, you're, you no, want to no. just I factor just, in everything? Just uh, however you feel. It's, however it's you want to rank however it. However you want to rank it for okay. yourself. All right, fair enough. And you're allowed to put different, like, you know, I liked this, but not that. So this is why. Okay, that's Overall, fair. in my opinion. Okay, that is absolutely fair. Okay, so we will go in order of these. Um, and honestly, it's going to be uh, some of these I, I feel really bad that I have not done. For example, and Tourist the Burning Throne, which is the first I one. The first one. I've never done it. I have never done this one. I feel really, really ashamed to say. Um, I'm going to pull it up here. Should we just drag it down and like not do it? Just drag it down at the bottom? Um. You know, let's let's do that. Let's have a let's have a category. So, because I don't want to unfairly rank something. Yes. Um, add yeah, rogue. That one low. I actually never did, and I don't even think I've done it. Um. So we'll say never done. Since we'll I turn it that. into light blue. Yep. Am I adding one? Yep. Add one. Turn it into never done. Yeah, so some of these we will just rank as that because I, I feel bad because I I it I will say this about it I actually want to go do it, you know, just to go see everything because it is a beautiful raid. I love the raid. The uh, in fact that uh -oh, it has Sargeras. Yeah, you need to add one above that and mm -hmm. add back uh, D. And somehow I messed up mine as well. Man, we're all just a mess right we're now. Done. We are we are definitely messing up. What here. am I doing? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to fix mine as well. <laughs> There we go. Okay, go, I'm gonna figure this out, y'all. Yeah, never, never done. Yeah, and then color it blue. Oh, bugger, you do. Okay. White blue. There you go. Good. Okay, now move, move it down. I did. No, you didn't. There you go. Now you did. Okay. Uh, and now let me fix the screen so that it shows up. Okay, we're totally professionals at this. <laughs> Don't be oh, alarmed. Oh, my D is the wrong color. It's fine. It's, it's totally fine. Ethics. There we go. All right. So we're going to go through this. Uh, and also, I want this to be a lot of you are wow folks in there. I understand that some of you are not. But if you do have opinions, please let me know what your opinions are as well. So we will put this one in Never Done. Barden Hold. Sorry, Antorus. Uh, Baradin Hold. Baradin Hold? Which one is that? Cataclysm? That was the PvP ah, one yes. where you would just like skip to the last <clears throat> boss. This was, oh Never yes, understood the point this, of this was, one. okay. I remember this. Yeah, it was, it was a PvP. It was, it was just PvP like room. a, it was a jail cell and they had all of these, these different folks and it dropped like actual PvP loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it dropped PvP loot. Honestly, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Honestly, I really liked this one. You're kidding me. Because of what it was. I believe, and chat, keep me honest. I believe this is the only raid, raid like this that has dropped PvP gear. It was a PvP raid, which I think is very, very cool. No, Wintergrass, no, that doesn't count. Like, this is a raid instance. Wait. Wait, let me take, I'll, I'll take that back. <laughs> Was Barrett and Holt, was it a raid instance or was it a world world event? Did you have to have put a raid in Q4 to go in? Okay, so it is a raid. So yeah, so for that reason, I'm going to rank it as a B because... You're kidding me. <clears throat> no, because uh, first off, anytime you fight Dreadlords, uh, not Dreadlords, uh, Pit Lords, I absolutely love it. Like this guy here. Why? These are my favorite bosses. They're hidden. I love these guys. These these pit lords. I think they are the coolest. I don't know why. I love these bosses. I love the model. It is so unique. 
So anytime I get to fight one of these things, it automatically goes higher in my in, higher in my ranking. You're out of your mind. Baron and Hold was a D. Everyone skipped the first boss. You did the second boss. There were no mechanics. You all just ran in together and like hoped that most of your group knew what was going on. Nobody followed any form of mechanic. You just grouped up with whoever. It didn't matter at all. <laughs> It was horrible. There was no purpose to this raid other than sometimes you could get a piece of PvP gear. Why don't you tell me how you really feel about it? There's no mechanics. People <laughs> skip bosses. It just it just made no sense. Well, okay. That is your that is your opinion. There you go. All right. Um sorry, I'm I'm fixing something on my screen over here. Give me one second. Okay. All right, the next one. Where's my, where's my thing? Hang on. I am just messing up all over the place. Okay, the next one, Bastion of Twilight. Uh, we talked about this one um, yesterday. You know, this is, it's another good one, right? I mean, this is, what was, this was Warlords, right? Warlords. No, my angel, this was Cataclysm. Oh, I was thinking High Mall. This oh. is my first ever raid that I ever stepped foot in. So this is when we fought Chogol? Yes. Out in Twilight oh. Highlands. Oh, yes. Oh, and this bitch. Yes. Um, I liked the Chogol fight, but we also fought him in Highmall too. Yes. yes, you did. No, we did not. Oh, he was the he was the mythic only. Yes phase of this that's right i get him and chogol mixed up sometimes yeah but chogol did show up yes during this fight but that's it was why it was, it was in mythic only fight. yeah 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 okay um i i enjoyed it it was interesting i liked the chogol fight but it, it's not that memorable to me other than that so for me i'll say c i'll say as a c i i'm an, okay so this is not my proudest raid. This is my first ever raid that I played in. I played a priest, my first character, and I didn't know how to raid heal. And I, uh, I was just really bad at it. And frankly, I don't remember any of these fights well enough. But I don't think it was overall super great raid. I do remember, however, this is the raid that had the really cool priest shoulders that was like the water wells. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. The shoulders yeah, yeah. were like the well. That was really cool. I'm gonna give it a C purely for the preset. Well, yeah. Don't rank the don't rank on based on the gear necessarily. We'll do another ranking for, well, the, for probably I mean, the gear. But we base it how I base it. I base it okay. a C. Okay. So you base it a C. I mean, I I think that's a little harsh. I, I mean, I don't think it was as good as Barry and Hole, but you know whatever. Barry uh, and Hole was terrible. <laughs> We've been over this. As long as swing by the next stream, got something special for you. Yeah, definitely will, my man. Okay, uh, battle for uh, does how do you say Ooh, that yeah, word? this is another one we never did. I'm j I was just looking it up. I mean, obviously that's um, that was uh, uh battle for Azeroth. Yes. Um. Oh, this was the Jade. No, we did this one. Nope. We did it on LFR, but we did do this one. I because I, I remember Jaina, fighting Jade. I remember but fighting Jade. None of the other bosses. That's kind of true. We Why do I Jaina remember fighting else. Jaina, but not the rest of the bosses? I don't know. I remember we watched a lot of videos of Jaina also, because we were invested in the race on this tier. Oh, we that's right. Playing. We watched. Yeah, I did not. So overall, I did not care for it. I felt it was a little lazy. Uh, and it was just really uninteresting. Even the Jaina fight. I mean, this is Jaina. There is so many things you could do with this fight. And it just, I didn't care for it. I really did not care for it. Uh, so for me, I keep switching around between these. It's getting a little, uh, for me, I'm going to rank it a C. I, I just didn't care for it. Too All right, I'm putting it in never done because I remember doing Jaina and nothing else. And I want to rate an entire raid based on one boss fight. That's fine. I, I don't I'm still going to put it fair. as a C because, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I don't think it was, yeah, I don't think. It, okay. Black Rock Foundry. Now I might we catch some. Time. I might catch some flack for this one. For me, it's an A. I loved the look and feel, just the general, the textures, the aesthetics, uh, the fights. 
I just really, really enjoyed this raid. I obviously this was at the, I wouldn't say it was at the height of our rating. It was, um, this was, well, not this yours, was, but mine. This was, yeah, for me, it was coming down. I, I had hit my peak in, in mists and this was, this was me kind of going more casual. I was much more casual in warlords than I was in mist. Uh, but to this, to this day, still black rock foundry is just a beautiful raid in my opinion. I have some really stinking good memories from this place. Um, I love the uniqueness of these fights in this raid. Orgorger, not seen anything else like it. Really amazing. Um, the twins, Hans and Franz, so much fun. Uh, the train boss. Oh yeah. my goodness, did <laughs> we have boss. so much fun on that train boss. Yeah. Just a lot of really unique encounters. Um, I remember the Iron Maidens. I was on the... I was the healer chosen to go to the boat crew where you're like an entirely different separated area. It's just so stinking cool. This raid was so, so great. I am so torn. I think I'm going to give it an S. I think this might be one of my favorite raids. Go for it. You are entitled this to that. Definitely absolutely. definitely one of my, at least have the best memories from this place at least. Yeah, you are absolutely. Okay, Black Temple. Again, for me, I think this was, this is simple. It's an S tier because you cannot name uh, well obviously you can name and we'll talk about them later but this is one of the more iconic raids there were so many there's so many boss fights in this from a lore perspective it was full of just a lot of great memories it introduced a new lore with the whole faceless ones and everything else i mean it was just a really fantastic raid and then, of course, to top it off, you're fighting Illidan, one of the most iconic characters in, in WoW lore. For me, it's S tier. I didn't play this when it was current content, so I don't feel like I have the same adoration of it as you. I think it was a, an iconic raid for sure. But like, even just looking at these bosses, like, I don't remember at least half of these. Reliquary of Souls, that one I give super cool. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I mean, Illidan I mean, and you Reliquary, never really did it, though, to be fair. I have done it. Like, I've run through it quite a lot. It just... Eh, I'm going to give it a B. It's, it's a okay. solid mid-ground uh, right that, that, that's, that's rough. That that's that hurts my soul. It's, I, just, I didn't hurts. play it when it was current, so I think I don't have that love oh. that you have for it. Yeah, that... that whew, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, uh, Blackwing Descent. Let me... um. I remember this one, but let me let me just remind myself of the fights. This was during Cataclysm again, right? Yes, this one was really cool. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it had it had Nefarians in, which obviously when you fought Nefarian, you fought the resurrected version of Anixia. So they re they you know they reintroduced her. Um, it had this Malaric guy, which is arguably one of the most difficult fights I have ever done. And this dude was so freaking tough. Um, the, the, the Atromedes with the, the sound waves, that was actually kind of a cool mechanic and a, and a cool boss, you know, he's blind and everything. Magma face roll, uh, uh Omnitron. Defense system, super cool. Okay. Yeah. Defense. This was another weird one. Defense system on everything, but mythic. Cause I think they had mythic at this point, right? Oh, it no. was still called heroic. Okay. But anything but heroic. So on normal, it was the easiest fight you've ever done in existence. But freaking heroic because of this ability right here, I think. Yeah, the, these these heroic, these uh, this fight was so freaking tough on heroic. Uh, and it was an entry boss. I mean, it was, it was really a hell of a heavy entry. I don't know. It's a fantastic design. I liked it. I don't think it's up there with Blackwing uh, Foundry, but I'm definitely going to give it a B. I'll give it a B. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you, actually. This was one of my very first raids also, and I remember getting to Nefarian, and as a priest, I was supposed to, like, shackle something, and I got in trouble because oh, I never yes. trained that ability. When the oh, And Thor was like, oh, my God, you <laughs> dumbass. Go oh. hearth to town and train your abilities. Yeah, so that was... Um, I do remember that. Yeah. One of my intros <laughs> to raiding as a brand-new player it was pretty rough for me. I like Magma. I think he's cool. Defense system, he's cool. Uh, I like Nefarian's fight, how you have to like get on the the, the, pillars, the pillars and the lava and comes up. up. And I yeah, think that's yeah, really yeah. unique and nifty. Yeah. Um, but overall, I'm 
I'm not in love with it, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna give it a B also. Okay, that works. Okay, what do we have next? The next up, um, oh, and Jenna, you joined the Discord. Thank you, my friend, hey. and welcome. A uh, Blackwing Lair, oh man, I mean, if you had, well, I was going to say, if you had to define a one of the best raids of classic, for me, it's not Blackwing Lair, but it's a, it's a close, <laughs> it's a close second. If you had to say the best raid of classic, it is not this one. Well, <laughs> well ironically, the best raid of classic is not on this list, but we'll, we'll talk about it here in a minute. Um, but, and I, I'm questioning, I don't even know why it's not on this list, actually. What are you thinking? Zolgrub. In my opinion, the best raid of classic was Zolgrub. Is that a raid or a dungeon? No, it was a raid. It was a raid. And it was, it's probably, it spawned one of the most iconic memories of WoW history, and that's the plague. I mean, every, even people who don't know WoW know of the, the story of the real life plague, and that was because of ZG. ZG was removed. What are you talking about? It's not in the game. It's not in classic WoW right now? It was a 10 man. I guess maybe that's why they're not. But I, that to me, that was my favorite raid um, of of vanilla. I'll say, I got I to gotta stop saying classic. It's not classic. It was uh, vanilla. But anyway, uh, where does Blackwing layer? It's still very high up there. Um, I would give it a B. I'd give it a B. Simply because there was there are some things that make it not a good fight for me. And let us discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. First up, this son of a bitch dragon right here. I was a healer in, in vanilla, and I hated this boss. <laughs> this was the first fight of its kind where you had to heal a boss instead of defeat the boss. I hated this damn I hated this bitch. I absolutely <laughs> hated this fucking bitch. I hated that boss. And, and she oh and the fears all oh, the fears i hated that boss uh hated that one um uh boring uh boring and here's the other reason right this one could literally be like three manned it was a stupid fight it was dumb there were so many ways to cheese it you could bring like a five-man group and kill the first boss the second boss then was like first boss anybody can do it second boss no one can do it <laughs> And then you had a bunch of fillers. Like, I don't even know why these bosses are here. These are, these were mini bosses at the end of a gauntlet. I don't even know why they're there. But then Cro-Magnus. Oh, this fight. Because of its RNG nature, Cro-Magnus was another pain in the dick. And then you had Nefarian. Now, Nefarian was, I thought it was actually much easier. Because it was, it was more predictable. Uh, but it was still, at the end of the day, it was still Nefarian, a very, very cool character and lore. So again, for me, I'll, I'm going to rank it as B. I didn't play it as a current content. I don't have any happy emotions towards this place. I've run it, you know, obviously easily since, but uh, based on what I saw when I have run this, there's nothing that strikes me as being a really awesome raid. I'm going to throw it in the D because it means so little to me. <laughs> and I really cannot think of a cool scenario that I've ever run into in this place. All right. So you're just going to, what, never done? No, I've done it. It's a D. Well, it's where did you? Oh, you put it as a rate. D? God, we are so different in how we think about these. It's crazy. <laughs> like the egg thing was kind of cool. And then after that, it's just like always a crap. And I don't know. And just, eh, it's very eh for me. Okay, next one is Crucible. I know you can't see my screen, but I'm just going to leave this up. It's Crucible of Storms. Uh, I don't think I, I don't did this one. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, yeah, I didn't. I did not do I this fight. Not. Oh, nope, I didn't do that one at all. A two, yeah, I, I have no opinion on this. I mean, the boss looks cool. Looks cool. Obviously, it looks like a very short raid. Yeah, two bosses. Um, Oh, I hate these things. I hate those things. <laughs> what uh, these these bosses oh, here, the these these type of faceless things, I think they're called. Yeah, um, I've never done that one, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give an opinion yep, on yep, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, the three of them were just one fight, then you would get like so much less gear per run. Nef class would be a pain. Uh, Blackwing layer was fun. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. It's just, I, and that's why I ranked it where I did, but it's not as good as some of these other ones. Uh, Dragon Soul. Okay. Guys, I mean, is there, oh, oh my wow is crashing. My wow crashing. Oh, cool. There we go. There we go. All right, Cataclysm, Dragon Soul. I mean, say what you will about this fight, about this raid, but this raid was so freaking good. Thank you. It was so good. God, it was amazing. And I'll tell you what, for me, made it. I'm going to go ahead and put it. It's S tier, and here's why. First off, this raid was marked the beginning and arguably... The height, I don't know if it was the height, but it marked our our personal growth as streamers. Like we were we were approaching our apex curve in Dragon Soul. And it was so freaking good. And and a large part of it for me was the spine fight. It was so freaking <laughs> cool. Was, that was a really hard fight. It though. was super hard, but so I hard. loved that fight. Um Ultraxian was another cool fight. It was. I mean, there's just so many cool aspects of this fight that I just love. The 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 final boss and I think this is why people give it so much hate when they do. The last the last fight it was lackluster. Like I I'll give you that. Uh, I think they 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 flopped on the final. I think it's kind of cool. With you have the aspects there who help you and you get a little bit of their power and you get to use yeah, it against Deathwing. But, That's so, such a cool idea. I know, but if I am fighting the pinnacle of dragons, then the last phase should be as him as a dragon, not yeah, him as an octopus. I can see that. Okay? I want to fight Deathwing the dragon, and that is my only complaint about this. I, I fought on his back, but never once was I right here tanking this mofo. Okay, but at the same time, the fight against Deathwing really spans two completely different fights. Like, it's not no, just that one is fight true. against him. You and have I, two completely is, different fights. That is true. That's another iconic thing, because I don't think any other raid has ever done that. I don't think there's any raid to date that has had a singular boss spread up across two different boss fights. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But... Yeah, as for me, again, for me, it's still S tier. You can't get it higher than that. Right. But that that's my kind of complaints about that's a little fast. bit of that. Super cool. I loved um, the ooze boss and the tentacle boss where you had, had to go down into their caverns. For yeah. some reason, those are just so nifty. Like the old god kind of esque fights were really cool to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, next one is. Oh, did, Emerald did Nightmare. Did you do this one? What? Did you do this one? There's not one, Ben. There's not one that you've done that I haven't done. Is there? Well, we had taken a break, I think, just before this because this was, we had Guinevere. This was and, Legion. Yes. And then oh, yeah, yeah, I did this one. Back during no, this I progressed one. on this one. I remember doing Ursoc. The first three. I re no, I raid led Xavius. I was yeah, raid Yeah, yeah, no, 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 definitely. But we came back mid tier for this one. Like these first three bosses, I don't recall doing progression on. Oh hell yeah! I remember progressing on Ursoc. This was. A I remember tank progressing check. on Ursoc. This was a tank Ooh, check, yeah. Maybe the spider one. And the I first do boss, recall. I remember progressing on on this one. I don't remember progressing on this first boss. We we did this progression. We definitely did do this raid for sure. By the way, um, <sighs> this this one was definitely cool. You got to see a couple of stuff. I mean, you got to see Xavius. <laughs> Um, which is Xavius. This is the first time that we had seen this character since, well, this is the first time we had ever seen the character, but he's been in lore forever. He was part of the War of the Ancients, uh, hand in hand with Cenarius. I mean, Xavius in lore was the right hand of uh, What's-Her-Face and, and caused the downfall of the War of the Ancients and all that kind of stuff. So to see him was kind of cool. And the fight itself was pretty cool with the shadows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't rank it nearly as high as anything else, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it as a B. Overall, I'll put it as a B. I like the Ursoc fight. The that Ursoc one was fight really cool. was hands down the coolest fight in this raid. I think just because it's Ursoc, man. You're fighting yeah. Ursoc. So yeah. cool. 
And I also think Cenarius was a really cool encounter, a uh, really interesting touch to have a uh, yeah. Emerald Nightmare Cenarius. I'm going to give it a, uh, oof, boy, I'm having trouble with this one. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it an A. Okay. Give it an A. That's fair. That's fair. I, I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. It's not the best, in my opinion, but it's it's better than, you know, Blackwing Descent to me, so. Okay, I have Eternity. That was Wrath. Yeah, and that was Malagos. Okay, I, this this one's going to be quick for me. Uh, hey, hear me out. This is S tier. What? This is okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. This Malagos fight is one of my favorite fights of all time. Why? Because you got to ride dragons. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> no, I hear you. It's true. You got to it ride cool. dragons. No, here, but in all seriousness, this fight was so freaking cool. Not just from a lore perspective. I mean, you got to see Alex Straza in her full dragon form. You got to see Malagos uh, in his full. And this was the first time we had seen Malagos since the war of the ancients because he kind of he went crazy and all that kind of stuff because he was best friends with nefarian and all that kind of stuff yeah blah 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 right so this is the first time we got to see malagos again and it was just a really cool fight you had three different type of dragons you got to choose what you could do you there wasn't really this concept of tanking and well there was tanking and healing but it was just such a cool fight man uh and and the loot what was it? There was some grand loot. Oh yeah, and it had two freaking mounts that you could do. This mount is freaking cool. But man, there was um there was some type this. How cool is this freaking weapon, man? These weapons, all of the weapons with the exception of that one. That one sucks. But all of these weapon models too just looked freaking cool, man. I don't know. Uh, so for me, S tier, S tier. That's Just an really S tier good. raid to you. Yeah, absolutely. You don't think so? I do not think so. Um, Cause we progressed on this one. My angel, no, we no, didn't. we did not. This this predated you. No, that's right. Um, yeah, I. You got to drive dragons, and that is about the only cool thing about this fight. Wait, what do, I'm sorry. What do you mean? What are you you saying? You couldn't see them? Oh shit, you can't see my dressing room. Okay, um, my bad. Let me, um, there. Sorry. Well, now you can't see me. <laughs> All right, I just won't. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. It's a C. What? Yeah, it's a C. There's one box. I mean, that's not fair. Put it at least in never dragon. done. You've never done that fight. I then. literally have done that fight, and I. I Doing don't... it as a transmog run is not the same. It's a C. Oh my God! You don't know what good is. <laughs> so Jeez, you don't know what good is. All right, uh, Firelands. I mean, this the sh this is another good one, honestly. Um, Cataclysm, Firelands. Yep. Oh yeah, this really man, cool this was here. such a cool fight. I mean, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, God, this was another good. This one's going to be an A tier for me. It it had so many unique fights. Not uh, first off the the environment, the the zone itself from the graphics and everything was perspective. It brought back Silveris, the the two handed weapon, which is a nod obviously to vanilla. Uh, it had its own legendary staff that you could get, which I did finally get on one of my characters. Uh, and it was just oh, it was just so good. And Ragnaros, of course, Ragnaros, and then his final form. If you did it on, let's see, was this? It was heroic. heroic. Yeah, if yeah. you did it on heroic, you know, you got to see him stand up and this was like two-legged Ragnaros, which you never saw before, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, Major Domo dropped the ability for druids, which I was not a druid at this time, but you were a druid at this time. Uh -huh. No, that I allowed... was a priest at this time. But I do have the druid. Yeah, and yeah, it dropped uh, the staff. Or no, it wasn't the staff. It was something that allowed seeds. you to turn into the seeds. It allowed oh, yeah. you to turn in to a freaking fire cat. I, oh! 
Oh, and the bane of everyone was this Lord Ryleth, which oh, I actually thought was a really cool fight. So cool. But God, could the you... The driving with the whole yes, raid, though, was rough. You would, I would get so frustrated at people saying, this volcano, steer him left, left, it your was, other left, you like dumbass. <laughs> trying to drive one vehicle with like... Oh man, yeah. So I mean, many people, yeah. Yeah, this 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 fight was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, this fight, oh my god, if you were a mage fighting Alice, right? Alice Alice Razor, Resort. Alice Resort, yeah. If you were a mage during this fight, you were king of the world. Very cool fight. Freaking mages destroyed on this. If you were if you did the flying right and you got all the rings and you did all that stuff, the moment you land. The boss melted. It was so freaking cool. Tanking Balarok. That is the most tense I have ever been tanking a damn fight. Tank Why? Oh my of God. All fights to be tense tanking Balarok? Balarok. Really? When he, I don't know what it was. I don't remember exactly, but he would get to a certain point. And I swear my health would be 110, 110, 110, 110. Yeah, I do actually recall that. It was that. so freaking hectic tanking this fight. So oh my good. God, it that was scary. That crystal thing he used to pull out or yeah. whatever. Shannox yeah. was cheesable. I mean, that I wasn't really Shannox. anything. I love Shannox. I love the idea that he has like his two dogs and you could really just take him anywhere. If you'd cleared the trash, you could pull this boss wherever yeah. the hell you want. Yeah. I think that was really a, a cool... Bethelak was uh, it, it was another coordinating one. You know, you had to really coordinate it right. Um, yeah, it's nothing to write horror about that, but yeah, so definitely A for me. You agree on that one? Yes, definitely. Okay. It was a really cool one. That was the first instance where I, I think I started to hit a groove in rating. I kind of got a, an idea of what I was actually supposed to be doing. So that was nice. Okay. Uh, I know I've, I've, this is a, a near and dear one to me. I know that a lot of you think it's crazy, but Grohl Lair, I just have always really enjoyed this fight. Uh, it's a B. It's it's probably higher than what some of you might expect. A high, high King Mul Mulgar, this fight was stupid. I, like this one can, can suck a left nut, right? I don't care about this fight, but just the Grohl fight. And again, I'm a fan of boss fights where the bosses look like bosses. Like they're, they're towering over you. The bigger the boss is, the cooler fight it is for me, even though I'm literally tanking his left toe, whatever. I just thought it was a cool fight, cool mechanic to be for me. I will be honest with you. I don't even know the mechanics of this place. There's not many mechanics. Well, except for this fight. High King has a lot of mechanics, but it's mostly around handling the, the drain ad and handling all the mechanics of all these fuckers. I... It's a stupid fight otherwise. I don't know the mechanics of this place. I've only ever been able to go in there and like literally one shot both of them. <laughs> so just say you haven't done it. That's I'm going to put never done just because like yeah. I've killed them, but I don't know what they do. Yeah. Their instance is ugly, but it's also very old. So I try not to get too much hate there, I guess. Okay. Breeze, absolute favorite. I'm going to let you go first on this <sighs> one. And that is Heart of Fear. This Here's was the at the height of our of our. This streaming. is Shark Week territory. Right yeah, this here. is Shark Week. This was Shark Week. This is the height of Shark Week. Um, listen, I loved Heart of Fear. <laughs> you did not. I did. You were a damn liar. I love. I love the Vizier. I love the Blade Lord. Garillon. Garillon was the utmost high point of Jab Jab Uplift, my friends. Jab Jab <laughs> Uplift for seven minutes until the boss dies. That's yep. all I did the whole time. Windlord, awesome. And then there's Amber Shaper. Oh, fucking Amber Shaper. Amber fucking Shaper <laughs> is oh, man. my boss. My one boss <laughs> in the entire world of Warcraft. The whole thing. I couldn't do. <laughs> to I, this day, you probably could To this do it. day, I cannot do the Amber Shaper. Something didn't click with me on this particular fight. Never has, never will. <laughs> the worst boss in all of World of Warcraft, Amber Shaper. Let me die. Empress was good. The whole raid was great, except for Amber Shaper. Where do you put it? It's a B. It's going to be a B. <laughs> I'm actually going to put it as an A, and here, here's why. And it's it's very funny. Amber Shaper. Amber Shaper, for me, 
I actually loved it because I got to be Amber Shaper. Yeah. <laughs> the tanks were, they, they took over as Amber. So I got yeah, to be everyone that. Everyone did. That was the problem. Uh, so I, lo I loved Amber Shaper. I thought it was extremely cool. But something about this, and chat, I want to know your thoughts on this. But for me, this entire instance relied heavily let me rephrase this instance this this instance relied more heavily on having good tanks than almost any other thing because if i if i think back of these a lot of these relied on bosses being put in very specific positions uh galeron had to be kited yes, in a certain patterns uh the this the first guy he had the sonic waves and so you had to do the dance correctly so cool. what a cool the fight. blade lord you had to put the the all the shit in the right spot grand empress of course you had to tank her in a certain way so given i'm a tank this place offered a lot of very unique challenges and they weren't tanking spanks like i actually had to work during this raid and so for me, I like challenges like that, which is so why that's an A for me. It was a good raid. Yeah. It was so good, but Amber Shaper brings it down at least one level for me. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. Hated Amber Shaper. What do you okay, Hellfire Citadel. This is the remake, right? So this is... Um, what do you mean the remake? Well, it's the remake of um, Black Temple. Wait, no. Yes. Yes, this is the remake of Black Temple because Black Temple didn't exist, right? Isn't this in... Um... Yeah, this is in Draenor. Oh, no, it's not. This is in Tanan Jungle. Yeah, that was like a... I was thinking of something else. Okay, so it's not in Shadow Moon. Okay, um, I, sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm looking at here. Let me pull it back up. Okay, so Hellfire Citadel... Oh man, this was another freaking cool instance. We were here for a long time. Oh, well, that robot boss, you loved him. Oh yeah, this, this was another really cool one. Uh, Hellfire Assault right off the bat, I hated this fight. As a tank, I hated this. Fortunately, I was a monk, with yeah. ex and monks at that time had extremely high mobility, and we, we arguably still do. Uh, so I was a little bit better, but I couldn't imagine tanking this as like a warrior or something. It would just been atrocious. Uh, Iron Reaver, that was that was kind of cool. Gormak, I don't really remember too much. He would he would uh, jump into the various pools and stuff, right? Yes, I really loved. Yeah, him. that I was kind of eh. kind of eh. uh, a council fight, kind of eh. Uh, Dread Eye, this was a big tanking one. Uh, we had to we had to put things in the correct positions. That was cool, and then you had to go into different portals and do some stuff. Gorfiend. Gorfiend was hard. I remember yeah, Gorfiend was one, hard as shit. Well, this was the DPS check. Gorfiend, Gorfiend was the DPS check. It was tough. Right. It was it was a gear check. You had to do a lot of stuff. This stopped a lot of uh a lot of progression. Um then you had Shadow Lord. This was I seem to recall this one was pretty face roll. Uh the Eternal, yes. Then you got to go into the construct, right? This was the one you got to be you a did. construct as a tank, which was freaking cool. Uh, Fell Lord, fuck this guy. Oh my god. I don't know why we wiped so much on this guy. He sucked. But we did. His axe attack that he would do. God, we wiped so much on that. Another DPS check. Uh, this one was kind of a cool fight. He would have his two forms and the you had to... In the fell? Yeah, you had to alternate what you were doing depending on it. Overall, not that too hard of a fight. I think it took a, took us two or three pulls to get it and then we cool. got it. It went too fight. Too bad. Uh, healing check right here. This bitch. Healing check. Mm. Because uh, I think she did some kind of debuff, right? Yes. Yeah, this touch of harm Shaman thing. Shaman was a requirement yeah. on this fight. This was a healer check. So that that stopped a lot of gills. Manoroth. Freaking awesome. Again, anytime I can fight a pit lord, I love it. Especially if it's the pit lord of pit lords. Manoroth. Very cool fight. And then obviously, Archimon. Makes his return. Get to go to space. Get to go to space. You get to fight again a very iconic member of lore, and you all of his armor dropped. Like literally, you could wear and look exactly like Archimon. <laughs> his fucking fight. 
So cool yeah, the fight. It was really, really cool. So for me, I'm gonna actually put it as A tier. Just shy of the S tier. Yeah. Just shy of the S tier. I agree. I was having a hard time between S and A, but I don't know. I, I didn't adore all of these fights, but I did love yeah. a lot of them. Uh what class do you tank for? Um yeah, we'll mention what classes we were playing during each of the expansions. But right now I tank in classic, I'm a warrior, and then in retail I'm a monk. And I love monks, and I wish there was monks in classic. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going back, warrior? Yeah. Oh, God, no. All right. Hi, Maul. This is the uh, the Warlords of Draenor version. Um, let me just remind myself of what the... Yeah, this was this fight. Um, honestly, uh, so I played a monk during this. I liked this first boss because he dropped the fist weapon, the blade fist, which... I still use as a transmog. That's the weapon he's using. Freaking awesome looking weapon. I liked that fight and I liked the Imperator fight. Everything else I didn't care for. Butcher was stupid. I it was patchwork. I loved Butcher. Why? It was because patchwork. I know, I know. And that's what I think I loved about it is that it gave us so much trouble and there was just no mechanics to it. No, and it for was so some dumb. reason. This fight that just has no mechanics. It was a DPS check. That held was us back like yeah. no one's business. And I remember there were particular times where we would just have nothing to heal. And we would use our pre-pots on DPSing because we needed that DPS yeah. so badly. It was a DPS check and our DPS was was not that good. I mean, we had, <laughs> oh no, we had okay DPS. It was just that much of a check. I remember... That was the biggest DPS check yeah. I have ever run into was the Butcher. Tactus was cool. The fact that he he jumped into various mobs, uh, different forms, and being a monk tank, I just absolutely destroyed the meters in this fight. I mean, I I, I destroyed on that fight. It was kind of cool. Uh, Black Spore hated that. Dragon Spore was so cool. I hated it. Using little flamethrowers and shit. I hated that. That oh, was dumb. Oh, it was so cool. Was and then you had to like heal the mushrooms. And there was like a, yeah. it was, it was a whole oh, cool... Yeah, from a healer perspective, I can see that. Healer perspective, it was a cool There's fight. probably a lot more to do than for me. I, this is boring for me. Oh, God. Not as boring as twins. Jeez. We finally had to solo tank this to make it interesting. Because this tanking this with two tanks was so fun freaking dumb it was so slow I like i don't remember, this remember. Room oh my god it was so bad out. um this was another dps check i didn't really what care is for it? it i don't remember this fight uh it Colorado? only took us it only took us a handful of times to kill it it was it was a deep he had that nullification barrier thing that you had to burn through it wasn't really that great I don't remember. Uh, and then Imperator, which was a freaking... There was... This was a shit show. The 25 minute long fight. There was so much going on you with this. You got like four pulls a night on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> that was I got your so progression much on it. time. Um, I'm going to put it... For me, I'm going to put it as a B. I'm going to put it as a B. Yeah, me too. Nothing, to, nothing big to write home about. What am I doing? Come on. There we go. Okay, oh, man, we're going to have to go a little bit quicker. We're never going to get through this. Uh, Battle for Mine, How Mount Hygel. Oh, man, this was, again, another absolute classic. What is that? Um, Battle for Mount Hygel? You know what Burning that Crusade. is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Burning Crusade. Not a lot of folks saw. Actually, no, people saw this one. Uh, yeah, just, again, another really cool fight. But, God, it was large. Like, it was an entire zone. It was like, like, it was, like it was a whole storyline that you go through in this one. I think well, it really was really cool. So what it you was, have, like, this whole path that you follow throughout. Yeah, what it was, it was an exact reenactment of the last mission in World of Warcraft 3. It was, it was an exact replica of the very last mission of the last campaign in World of War, uh, not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, the, the real-time strategy game. And I obviously I played Warcraft 3. I loved it then. Cool fight. Um, so, I mean, for me, I get, I'm kind of kind of rank it as a B. A I don't B? Think it, yeah, I don't think it's as good as all of these others, but it's still a very, very cool, very cool iconic fight. What I did, I liked Archimon, but I didn't like all of the other fights. Really? I really did. I thought the other fights were too simple, too basic, kind of face roll. It was all about getting to Archimon. Uh, but even that fight wasn't really that great. It's so cool. He's massive. And you're like, no, this it's little cool. Thing. 
and it's cool, oh, it but the mechanics so of it just was not that great. And yes, you did fight a pit lord, and I know you fought that fight. I agree, but just mechanics um, wise, this just the design of the dungeon, they were all very large bosses. That is a plus. You know what? All right, I'll give it an A. I'm giving it an I'm A. It, an it a. deserves an A. It was just a because really of the interesting. Yeah. Just because of the lore. Of Not it. even just like the fight, like the fights I could care less about, but I think it's so cool that you go through like the storyline yeah. and you get to, I don't know. I just think it's really. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Here you go, babe. Uh, Ice Crown Citadel. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, so. <sighs> this one's tough. Uh, it's not a, it's not a slam dunk. I'm going to be honest. Really? It, I it's thought really for not. sure you no, would love there this. There was a lot of problems with this with this raid. There was just so many problems with it. <sighs> First off, it was too long. It's a long raid. It was it was way too long. And you couldn't do all of the raid when it first came out. It was split. It was it was gated. So I hated that they did that. It was gated. You couldn't do everything. Almost like LFR is gated now. So I, I didn't care for that. Obviously, Lich King is one of the most iconic raid raid fights ever. Yes, I'll give you that. It's a fantastic fight, just from a lore perspective. Cinderosa as well. But as far as everything else, with the exception of Sarafang, which was a uh, as a horde, this was really a good good tearjerker, if you will. But everything else, it was just so. Ugh, I didn't care for it. Um, I'm gonna rank it as an A. It's not going in the S tier for me. It's going as a is going as an A for me. This Which is, is gonna be an high. A for me just because I feel like I didn't get to do it when it was current content. I feel like if I got to do it when it was current, I would probably adore it because I love the fights, even just going back and rolling through them. I think they're yeah. so cool. Um but it's it. I don't have like the the happy memories associated with it. So I'm yeah. gonna give it an A just because I think as a design they have a really lot of really cool fights that I would have enjoyed. Okay, Karazan, uh, the original. Um, no, not Burning Crusade. Uh, I fucking hate this place. <laughs> God, I fucking hate this place. I fucking but hate this event. place. No, I fucking hate this place. I fucking hate this place. I fucking burn in a car fire. I hate this. I can't navigate place. this to save my life. No, <laughs> it's it's confusing as hell. Chess event can be fucking soloed. Prince, the prince fight. The only cool thing about it is it summoned infernos. And the whole fucking place was stupid. I hate it. I just I hate it. It's a D. So what's it? I right? hate it. A, a D? D. You're getting Karazan a D. Fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I, I, it's wow. chat, chat. Are y'all with me on that? I mean, I but freaking Abra hate Hall. that place. Abra I hate Hall, it. No, so unique. No, it wasn't a unique. Chess event, so unique. Oh no. Oh man. Mm -mm. No, right. I, I don't even care. For I'm it. gonna give it a C, just because those are really the only two fights that I can think of that are really uh, well, badass. I mean, if we level up, we're gonna get to do it. You can tell me your real opinion about I'm it. I freaking hate it. The, yeah. Like the zone overall, I think is really cool. <laughs> the fights, not as much. Yeah, I, I just, I just, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel about it. Raphael, welcome. I broke and resub to Final Fantasy. You know, that's, uh, that's a game that we've never played. We but have we've a lot talked of friends playing this right now. We've well, talked about that's it. That's where my current WoW Guild all is in Final Fantasy right really? now. Until, yeah, Did they everyone, release new content or something? I don't know. Everyone's playing Final Fantasy until they yeah, We might give a shot. Release this. I'm raid leading and I'm putting midnight on hard reserve. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I think uh, the streamers as part of the streamer guild gets to determine what's on reserve. <laughs> just, just go throw that out there, buddy. Uh, Mactheridon's lair. I mean, really, is this a, is this even a, a question? Chat, what's my what's my uh, take on uh, pit lords? This is the pit lord. This is the well, not the pit lord, but this is who is the pit lord? Um, what's his name? Hanaroth. Um, yeah, Manoroth. The one who, uh, the one who, Garrosh, not Garrosh. Yeah, Garrosh. No, Hellscream. Yeah, Garrosh, Hellscream beat. 
That's he's the one that turned the orcs uh, into fell orcs originally. Anyway, uh, I love this fucking fight. It's so freaking cool. It's S tier for me. It's one of my favorite raids, just because again because of the sheer sheer size of the boss. A lot of people hate the encounter because of that reason, but I remember walking into this raid. And granted, I had raided Ragnaros, freaking huge. I'd raided Nefarian, I raided Anixia, but I walked into this and I'm like, damn, this is cool. <laughs> it was just so freaking cool. It's a C. Yeah. Um, why? It's just, it's like, here's a big old room with a big fat man in it. Let's beat him up. <laughs> okay. You have no taste. Eh. You have absolutely no taste. A single boss <laughs> for just raiding his apartment. Like, oh, okay. Geez. It was his prison, technically. It's dumb. <laughs> All right, Mogashad Vaults. This one, uh, this one is very. We there. We have a lot of unique stories. This, this is this, the first this raid some, for Shark Week. Um, this is a, the first for a lot of us on this. So this was our first introduction to competitive raiding. Um, as in race for world first rating, we got, we, we had some, we had, I think top 10 world kill on stone guard <clears throat> and, uh, heroic. We had top 10 kill on, on stone guard. I'm pretty sure we had like top 20 on Fang. We had top five on spirit bender, but we cheated. <laughs> and then we we did terrible at spirit kings and that pretty much destroyed the guild uh, but we actually this was our this was our first foray as as a couple into competitive uh mythic rating equivalent and we actually got some world some top world kills on these so this this raid will always have a place in our memories i or at least in mine El, um elegon was a cool fight Will of the Emperor for that. But outside of that, I mean, if you if we didn't have that, it was a very lackluster fight. But I mean, it was a first tier dungeon or first tier raid. They're supposed to be kind of shitty. Yeah, it was. But it was um, yeah, so for me, it's going to be um, a, a B tier because of all that. Otherwise, it'd probably be a C, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at a B because I'm going to I'm going to leave it at a good mid ground. Yeah. I, I think that Spirit Kings was really cool. Elagon was really super cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Will of the Emperor actually I enjoyed a lot like as far as the consistent consistent damage and I got to be a monk back when you got like rejuvenating mist yeah, or whatever are really renewing mist on your that. whole raid was so amazing yeah um, but otherwise like eh, it was not bad but it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> great very midline for me Okay, Molten Core. I mean, everyone kind of knows what Molten Core is. It's being re reincarnated over and over again. And of course, you've got Classic, uh, where it was farmed at Agnosium now. I mean, it will always be an iconic raid. But overall, I didn't really care for it too much. It was it was very long. But uh, but again, it was the first raid. It was one of the first raids. Technically, Anixia was the first raid. But it was it was it was you know it was pretty up there, right? Um, I'm going to rank it as a B. We're just going to, we're just going to cover it at that. Yeah. I, it, it was cool. Uh, it had Ragnaros for the first time, but I can't, I, uh, again, unpopular opinion, maybe, but I liked Firelands Ragnaros better than I liked, uh, Molten Core Ragnaros because the burning, the Molten Core Ragnaros was just stupid. Now, granted, I was a priest and I, all I did was put my back to a rock and spam like rank two heal on my tank for 10 minutes. That's all I did. So it wasn't exactly an exciting yeah, fight for me. this place is a hard, <laughs> a hard D for me. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't go that crazy. Uh, you walk into this cave and then you just kind of like meander through this very same looking structure the whole time there's very little variation as far as what you're seeing you're in a cave and every once yeah. in a while there's like oh here's a boss here let's kill it and then you get to the end which is the only decently cool fight in this whole thing <laughs> is one boss yeah it's just not a good raid yeah yeah um all right next ramus this one this one's weird. 
if, weird? if they, well, weird for me, um, well, they don't even list it in the dungeon journal. Really? Why is it not in the dungeon journal? <laughs> oh, because you can't go to it in retail. It's in here. What? It's under wrath. No, that's the new next Ramus. Oh, which one do they mean? Oh, they mean the Wrath of Ramus. Oh, they mean that Nax. They don't mean classic Nax. Okay. Lich King. Lich King Nax. Lich King. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Well, no, it's different. Because you didn't have all of this in the original Nax, I don't believe. Just a safety dance. Yeah, I mean, I. Um... <sighs> I liked that they reintroduced it. Because one of the biggest complaints that I had are about classic Nax is that not many people got to see it because it was so difficult um, and WoW wasn't as immensely popular as it is today. And it was released relatively late in comparison to when TBC came out. So not a lot of people got to see it. But it is Kel'Thuzad, a very iconic person in the lore. Uh, and patchwork. I mean, patchwork is, I mean, this is the boss that you theory craft based off of. So, uh, but otherwise I didn't really care for it that much. Honestly, for me, I'm going to rank it as a C. I, I just really didn't care for it that much. Um, I just didn't really care for it. Yeah. I'm actually kind of with you. Yeah. Like there are some bosses that you just like recognize as people from lore and whatnot, but yeah. Can you turn your like speak into the mic? As far as just total interest is, yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, Nightfall. I don't. Th that's the one that we didn't do. No, we did. This is when I quit. Oh, I don't think I did this one. This is the one I. Oh, this quit. was Gul'dan. Yes. Did I do this? I didn't do this. I do not recall. Oh yeah, I did. Did I do this? Do you remember Triliax with the cake? I it don't think like a, I did this. Um, like a custodian almost. Yeah, I think I had, no, I, I think I came in afterwards and I, cause I seem to recall killing Gul'dan. No, no, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Warlords of Draenor, um, Manoroth, because we saw, you saw killed, um, you saw Gul'dan during this fight. And you saw him at the end in Archimon, but I did not actually do this fight. So for me, I'm just going to list it as um, never done. I don't, so I have an opinion. I don't, I won't give an opinion. I on. did this one up through Grand Magistrix. I think I quit right when we got to Gul'dan. So I had said that I was done raiding and I wanted to give my raid time to replace me. And they took their sweet time about doing it so i ended up doing progression for the entire thing except for the last boss um so i actually had a lot of fun in this place i remember i enjoyed it a lot chromat uh, the anomaly super cool triliax i just love him uh really cool fights spellblade was hard as shit uh croesus with the the breaking the bridge so cool um, I mean, they definitely look really, cool. really interesting. Um, interesting place. I'm gonna give it an A. Actually, I had a really good time in this place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I really liked that. That. Uh, I mean, anything with the Gul'dan. I mean, that, that's a really, that's really gonna be a cool, good time. Cool raid. <laughs> Welcome, Dohad. How are you doing, Hi, my friend? Hi, <laughs> Okay. Uh, what do we have next? Obsidian the Obsidian Sanctum. Sanctum. Now, this came at the end of Lich King. And this is the one that you go no, into. No, I'm thinking of Ruby Sanctum. Um, Obsidian Sanctum. And then there's a dragon, like, on the left, middle, right, up on the top. What was the difference between... So, chat, did Obsidian Sanctum and Ruby Sanctum... They were the same... I thought they were the same thing. Why is it listed as two different things in the journal? Yeah, the obsidian has the multiple. Obsidian is the one you ran for the mount. Uh, I, d I thought these were the same, the same thing. Um, I didn't, uh, I don't even know why it's on this list. Cause I don't even treat it as a raid. I mean, I treat it as a filler. I, 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 I treat obsidian sanctum the same way that I treat Ruby sanctum. 
well, Ruby Sanctum, I, I treat more harshly because this was just, oh, this expansion has been running too long. Let us throw a raid boss in. Ah. Here's Ruby Sanctum. Uh, I Why? would really appreciate Why that not? right now with Shadowlands, <laughs> actually. Hey, let's let's introduce a new concept. You know, it was just it was stupid. And I kind of <laughs> rank Obsidian Sanctum. In, no, I, okay. Obsidian Sanctum came first. Uh, this is like the, the first entry tier. It was Obsidian Sanctum, Malagos, um, and then Nax. I, I think all these were at the... These were at the first three, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I, I don't... I don't... D. I didn't really I'm going to give it. it a C because I actually I enjoyed like running it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I didn't just one. It's just it was just, it was just room. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was just the amount of effort put into it was not the utmost. Yeah. OK, Anixia's layer. This is the the one we were just looking at. This is the new version. Um, Wait, are we? What? What? Wait, there's one in Lich King. So there was two. There was one in Wrath of the Lich King, and then there was one in Classic. Are but I same? think I think this. I think they are actually the same thing. Okay. I think they were the same thing. They just they reintroduced Anixia. I think it was like an anniversary thing. It wasn't like a special event. It wasn't available all the time. I thought it was like a special event. Either way, I mean, let's see. Is Anixia Classic on here? No, so we'll just we'll just treat them as Anixia. So it's Anixia. Uh, I personally have always enjoyed the Anixia fight as a tank. I found it uh, found it challenging, especially in I guess it's technically phase three when she she lands after being up in the air. It's a complete raid uh, threat wipe. You had to regain everything. Uh, obviously the whelps and all that kind of stuff. If you fucked up, so I I've always enjoyed this fight, and it's Anixia. Uh, but it's not like a right home, right home to your mama type of thing. Um, so I'll put it as a B. I'm going to put it as a C. I think it's interesting, but I don't think it's that interesting. All right. Fair enough. Ruby Sanctum. Again, this is, this is just lazy. <laughs> it was absolutely lazy. I literally I, cannot picture Ruby Sanctum in my brain. No one can because it was fucking there. stupid. I'm gonna do a never done because I can't even imagine. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't even think. I think it was. I think they cleared it like the first day. I mean, it's just so stupid. <laughs> well, there's only one boss, so why would they not? Yeah, it, was, it was stupid. It was just a filler. They got lazy. It was. I just. I hated it. It was stupid. Stupid concept. Stupid raid. Uh, ruins of Ankahale. Um, well, freaking one word on that one, and that's uh, eyeball, right? Wait, no. Oh, no, no this is the this is the 10 man or this is the yeah, this is the 10 man. I uh hang on, I'm sorry. I know you can't see what I'm looking at. I don't remember the 10 man. I don't remember the 10 man either. Have I ever done this? I think I skipped the I don't think I did that. I don't think I ever did the 10 man. Yeah, I've never done that. Yeah, I always did the the 20 uh, the 40 man. I don't think i did the 10 man or whatever not it's not 10 man it says 10 man now but it wasn't i don't think it was 10 man back then i don't remember doing this one chat what i don't i don't remember doing it I don't, I, yeah i don't i have I, never I, seen this boss model i'm in gonna my put life. it a d i don't even remember do i mean obviously i did it i would have had to i remember this I boss because her head explodes and then she starts charging after you because I'm sorry, something. her head explodes. Yeah, like this this carapace or whatever on the top of her head comes off and it exposes her brain and then she gets mad and she starts charging but around. I would be quite mad also if my brain was exposed. <laughs> um, but otherwise, yeah, it's just a uh, it was it's uneventful. I don't. Oh, and this guy, he was a digger. He like went into the ground and went all around and then popped back up. Yeah, it's just it's just a very uneventful raid. It's kind of it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring. I didn't really care for it. Well, I'll like it as a, I'm not going to put it as a D because that would be saying it's on the same level as um, Ruby Sanctum. I'm going to put it as a C. What is a C? What about you? Are you just um, like, I didn't do? I put it in never done because I don't know that I've ever stepped foot into that place. That's fine. That's fair. Temple, yes. Um, ruins, I don't think so. That's fair. All right, Serpentine Caverns. Oh, God. I Wait, no, no, no. Yes, you're right. Keep Serpentine going. Serpentine Caverns. Man, I hated this fight. And I hated this for one reason. And one reason only. And that's because I was a warrior tank. And I was forced to farm nature resist gear. 
and I hated doing that. Um, That's and it was also remember. very difficult to navigate. Uh, the, the Lady Vash fight was cool, but it wasn't all of that. Hydros was buggy as hell. Uh, I, this one, it just, it was poorly executed. I, it was a cool idea. It was the first time that you got to see the Naga and everything. It was cool idea, but not very good execution. In my opinion, I'll rank it as C. I, I will also rank it as C because I like going there, but I don't feel like I get a real idea of like the, how yeah. the boss fights played out. But I do think it's cool that you have like this fishing boss. I mean, that was pretty oh, nifty yeah, that you, you had, had to, have to max like fishings. fish him up. Yeah. I think that's really yeah. a fun idea. That was uh, Lurker Below. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Um, which was actually harder to do than you might think, to find people that farmed up fishing that high <laughs> back really? then. Really? Yeah, because it, fishing wasn't exactly as lucrative as it is today. <laughs> okay, uh, Siege of Orgrimmar. That's, oh, wow. uh, that's Draenor's, right? That is... No, not Draenor. No. Pandaria. Oh, yeah. Oh, obviously. Siege of Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, we man. lived in this place yeah. for, like, I mean, a lot years. of people did. I mean, a lot of people did. Um, Garage Fight, in my opinion, is one of the top five. Top five best boss fights. I really, really enjoyed Garage a lot. Um, at the same time... Paragons can suck my right nut. Okay. There was another boss. I, I can't remember, remember it. that fight. Oh, I do. This freaking Paragons, because it was random which ones you got. Like you got, I think it was like you could get four of these and it, and it varied on what they would do. But God, this boss, this whole, this fight sucked balls. I hated it. I did not like Wasn't it. Wasn't there something weird you had to do for Thok? Huh? You had to like overheal it or underheal it. A dinosaur. I don't remember what it can you, was. I, you're, I, I can barely hear you. You're going to have to keep... Turn the mic. Yeah, there you go. I can barely hear you there. Um, I don't I don't even remember that fight. I mean, I remember doing it, but I don't remember the mechanics of it. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Malarok was a cool fight. Nazgrim, that, oh, was, a, Nazgrim. that was a tearjerker. Yeah, that was a sad... The um, shamans, how you had to use the entire entrance. And we had like an entire group that would just go up on the back ramp and yeah. place those little hurricane things. Oh, I mean, it, it, was, about that it was. was a lot. It was a super long dungeon. But overall, I did enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to put it as a B, actually. I, I thought it was a pretty good fight. I, or I thought it was a pretty good raid. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good raid. I, I'm going to put it as an A, personally. I had a good time. Galacras with the Tuscan towers. Yeah. Uh, towers. Iron Juggernaut was so cool. And you got that mount for killing Garage. Yeah. Really? A poor, oh, still poor Nazgrim, my man. He <laughs> tried. He tried so hard. Yeah, I, 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 I did Too enjoy loyal. that. All right. Sunwell Plateau. Okay. I have strong opinions about this one. I think it is hands down one of the best raids that never no one ever did just no one ever did um it had a high barrier of entry i think you had to i think it even had a key attunement or something but it, it's another one of those so it's just like ruby sanctum in that they had delayed i think they had delayed lich king um and so burning crusade was going too long they needed to they wanted to add more content and so they did the opposite of what they did with lich king and ruby sanctum ruby sanctum they just threw in a, a one boss lich king they threw in an iconic raid like they threw in a new legendary they threw in a boss that we had always wanted to see and they introduced uh, a whole bunch of very, very cool stuff. The whole Caligos arc. And they introduced a lot of cool shit, but no one saw it because not very many people got to do it. Um, but I love this raid. I absolutely love it. I think it's an A tier raid. I just hate it would be an S tier if it was if it would have been released correctly. 
I can't remember doing this place literally ever. Not many people did. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I have run it. I mean, that is one. That is but one of the good I things about TBC now. Think of this. Like I can imagine what it might look like, but I can't picture ever having done this. You, you might not have. A I lot, think again, I, a lot I of people I have, have but I don't yeah. remember it that well. It's a, a very well designed raid, though. I I did like the raid, and of course, it's Kill Jaden. I mean, how can you not like him? Okay, now this is the one I was thinking about. Yes. Uh, this is the temple. This is the eyeball boss. One of the hardest bosses in classic. I personally think so. Um, Cthune. God, getting sucked into his eyes, knowing what to do. The eye beam, which was a one shot mechanic. Uh, it was it's just, I liked that fight. But again, everything else absolutely sucked. It was way too big. Uh, yes, you got unique mounts that only worked in that instance. So that was kind of a cool mechanic back in the day. Uh, so probably for that reason, I'll put it as a B. But that's about it. I have no good reason to like this raid as much as I do. I, Why do you like this I raid? don't. It's bugs. Maybe because it's full oh, of bugs. Okay, yeah, I really you, dig you're it. Not, you're on I a don't bug know. thing lately, um, for sure. I just really, like, every time I go to this place, I like it. I think it's cool. You get to run down hallways full of bugs, and you have, a, like, a room where all these little harpies are kind of flying around and then you've got like <laughs> this worm that dig digs underground and then comes back and then you've got this oozy guy who didn't you need like frost mages out the wazoo wasn't he only hurt by frost damage oh, or something yeah the visit yeah. yeah something like that yeah and, and i just think it's super duper cool it's just a really stinking cool All right, where do you rank area it? um i'm gonna give it a b b All yeah right, right now had to freeze his ass yeah all right this was really cool terrace of endless springs uh i i think i don't know I, i'm curious about your opinion but i'm very biased towards all of the mist of pandarius because that was the most fun that i think at least for me that's the most fun that i have had with brie in world of warcraft was that really? expansion because again that was the height of our streaming back then and we were playing monks when they were wickedly overpowered. They were so good. Overpowered. Chris. They were so good when they first came out. And we did everything. We did, um, I did competitive. I did, I think I got, uh, I, don't, I didn't get glad that and during one of these seasons, because I got close to glad in arena. I had a US first kill in mythic. So I literally did, every, I got a uh, high warlord. I did, I got literally everything you could get. In Mr. Pender. So it's my favorite expansion of all time. So I'm a little biased. So when I talk about Terrace of Springs, a lot of people didn't like this fight. Um, and I and I could see why, but it was kind of cool, right? Lee she So cute. It was cute, but God, was it annoying. She was really annoying. It was a cute fight, but it was really annoying fight. It was like purely magic damage. I know. Sulong was a cool mechanic. Again, healing and then DPS healing and healing and, and DPS. DPS. Yeah. Cool thing. Protectors, stupid and boring fight. Could have been a trash trash pull. Well, it was um, interesting depending on like which one you, you killed first or whatever. True, but it, again, it mattered. It was, it was, I thought it was a dumb fight. Uh, and then Shaw Fear. Shaw Fear fucking annoying. Oh, God. That fight was a hot Oh, it was mess. so, so annoying. But With it was that again. that ball that you had to throw. Yeah. You remember that? We had to make yes. macros. Our whole group did not know how to oh, throw that God. ball. Oh, uh, God. But again, and again, in my opinion, a very cool raid. It's going to be an A tier, honestly, for me. Because and most of Mr. Pandaria's are going to be pretty high ranked. But I really enjoyed this fight. Actually, not A. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to stick it as A. I'm going to stick it as A. I'm going to leave it a B for me. I had a good time, but I think there are other raids that are better. But it's still it's still on the upper end. It's still yeah. pretty stinking good. All right, fair enough. What does that say? Oh, the eye? That's um that is That's uh Kel Kelthos. Kelthos. Yes, it is. I never did this raid as current content so i won't rank it as that uh, so i'll just put it well i mean obviously i've done it uh, that's kind of unfair i've of course done it but i didn't raid it when it was current content um i never really thought it was that cool the kelth loss fight is so cool and of course it drops the phoenix mount which is one of the coolest mounts in the game mm -hmm. but um i'll rank it as a c i don't think it's as bad as yeah, these I'm but i'll rank you. it as a c i'm with you i'm with you i'm not uh, i'm not all about that I'm with 
Okay, Throne of the Four Winds. Oh, I feel like this one's super overlooked. I've not thought about this raid in ever. Yeah, this was one that was, again, in my opinion, I feel like it was treated as an optional raid. Yeah. Right? You, di you didn't really have a lot of optional raids back in the day or, or ever, really. Raids are you do raids and you have to do the raid in order to get the gear to do the next raid. But Throne of the Four Winds, to me, it always felt like it was very optional. Like, you didn't have to do it. Uh, and I didn't really care for the design. I thought the Alucard fight, or Al however you say it, I thought it was I didn't, that was stupid. I thought it was overrated. I think it's kind of cool that you get to, like, float and choose, uh, like, any direction. I think that's really cool. Like a unique I don't like vertical bosses feel. that you have cool. to do jumping mechanics and fly all around stuff. Like, I don't I don't, I don't care for that. Unique. Uh, to me, it's a D. I didn't. I didn't care for it. A I didn't, D. I, didn't really care I don't for think it. it's a D. I would give it a C. I would, because you get to like go to the different platforms. I think is really cool. The conclave where you get to go to the different platforms and do stuff, yeah. and then the last boss you get like full range of motion, which I think was really nifty too. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah, the range of motion I, for me. I didn't feel why like I didn't a very like a very necessary raid. Yeah, it, it just well. felt like optional. Uh, Throne of Thunder. Okay. Um, Throne of Thunder will always be S tier for me. Um, it's probably my one of my greatest achievements if in in Warcraft, if you can call it that. I've had a uh, if I had to write, I got Glad. In first time I ever got Gladiator, like Arena Gladiator, was Battle for Azeroth, I think. Um, and then in Classic, I got the original High Warlord. And then in a mist of Pandaria's, I got us first 10 man kill in throne of thunder, um, which is a big deal for me. Right. And so this will always be top tier is the only raid I ever had that, that high of a ranking before. So for me, I always will rank it. And then this is the, also the height of our shark week. So I, we did that. And then I left nightmare asylum and we started shark week. No, I didn't do, this was not shark week. This was Shark Week because nope, we this. have a video where we I am raid leading and we killed this together. This is an S tier raid. It's amazing. Yeah. The huge variation oh, cool. in the I'm, fights. I'm... The I had a really good time this year. This is when I I had first joined a guild that I was with for a very long time. And um Lee Shin was just a really just cool a really fight. Good time. Dark Animus, everyone had to tank their own little robot. <laughs> yeah. I think that was so cool. Oh, that, that opening uh, Darumu pool. Darumu with the Dargan darkness yeah. and Jikun with going to the Nesk and Megara with all the different color heads. Oh, yeah, The yeah, tortoise yeah. with trying to avoid things in yeah. that little cave. Just really unique, interesting fights. Horridon, awesome fight. Just yeah. really, really cool yeah. instance. Iron I, Khan yeah. with his, his dogs. Just so, so nifty. I this this was a fantastic. This really was an awesome raid. Awesome raid. It, it's like if if I so far out of all of these, and there's really there's really only maybe one or two that would would mirror it, and we're about to talk about them. But this is easily one of the best raids ever, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. It was a really good one. All right, uh, Tuma Sargeras. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna immediately it. put that one into. I didn't really do because I didn't I didn't do it. Like I think I've run it for transmog, yeah. but. I did LFR, I think, but like, I think I did like the first wing of LFR and then I didn't touch it again. Yeah. So I don't really want to. And it's unfortunate that I'd never done it. Cause I mean, I would imagine, I mean, it's the Tuma Sargeras, right? I mean, that in lore obviously has a lot of significance. It's where Gul'dan found the skull and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's has a lot of lore involved in it, but I, I never did it. I, I, I've never even seen any of these bosses. Never. They well, we'll really go cool. back and run it one day. Yeah, we're going to have to do it just for Transmog. <laughs> just to see it. <laughs> you have Realm first, Tuma, Tuma Sargeras. Cool. Nice. 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 Uh, Trial the Crusader. Okay. <laughs> there you go, babe. Uh, I don't know why this one gets so much hate, but... I don't think it actually gets any hate. I don't... I think you're making that up. This is a pretty cool raid. I mean, this is an A-tier A -tier raid for me. I, I just... I loved it. It, it all, all it is. I'm just leave it at that. I loved it. Uh, I loved it. I don't remember Lord Jaraxxus. Yes, you did. Lord Direction of the Paragon Legion or something. And then it had a little gnome warlock that would come out and say, all right, show me to go. And you would die. I think it was uh, the, the, what's his face? 
No, it wasn't. What's his face? Man of Storm. No, yeah, it wasn't Man of Storm, but it was. It sounded Man very of large. Died like a gazillion. Times. Yeah, his is like I, you face Lord Rexus, leader of the blah 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 blah. It's just, a, it's just a, just this iconic is a line. cool raid. <laughs> it is a cool raid. Oh, here he is, uh, Wilfred Fizzlebang. Yeah, it, it just it was cool. I liked it. It is a cool raid. It's not the best raid, but I do think it's nifty. I really love that there was like a PvP fight. I think that's so unique and interesting oh, yeah. that you fought other yeah. like PvP units. I'm going to put it as a B for me. Can I say it's a nice touch? Because I'm assuming that if you're an alliance, like right now it says champions of the alliance and I'm obviously a horde. I think it's a nice touch that it says this and i wonder if i go to an alliance character if it says champions of the horde i bet it does i think, I think that's a nice little subtle subtle touch it's, it's unique yeah okay uh trial of valor mm. um what which one was that why can uh, i not picture that legion with odin hell yeah oh did oh. you do this one yeah, 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 yeah. I progressed on this. Who did I progress on this with? Me. So what had happened is we were coming off of a break. In, I came back. In, wow, not a, a, a break from wow. Yes, correct. Let's break up. Um, <laughs> a break from wow. <laughs> I came back and I told my raid awakening, who I was just talking about. I was with for a very long time. I said, "Hey guys, I want to come back. I would like to raid." But I don't want to do progression. I want to be second line. So you guys get all your kills, do all your stuff, and then let me fill when you have room to, like, take me. And I'll take you, baby. That week, they're like, hey, Bree, we need help progressing. And I'm just like, y'all, I told you I don't want to do this, but I'm not going to let you down. Let me come in there. I'm like a tier behind on gear. I shattered everyone's healing. I was a goddess. No I flex picked though, up right? this no, fight no flex, immediately. <laughs> I was eventually, I was that very same day, I was making calls and I'm just like, okay, I guess I'm progressing again. So <laughs> that, that this is quick. how I jumped back into progression. I had a really good time on this raid. Odin was really, really cool. Uh, the dog was hard as shit. And then there was Helia. And she was just a monster bitch. But uh, I remember this raid. I had a good time. It's not my favorite raid ever, but it was pretty cool. I'm going to give it a B. Uh, for me, I don't have all of those memories. I don't even think I, I progressed on it. Uh, for me, it's a C. I, um, I, as you know, I'm very, I'm very passionate about Viking mythology. I think the representation of Odin is absolutely fucking atrocious. <laughs> Um, and really all of how they Why? have represented Viking culture is absolutely fucking atrocious because Odin is not a fire robot. He looks like a fucking transformer. It's their own take on it. I don't care. This is not Odin. I get it. I look, don't before you all freak they out about the lore about own. it. I get it. I know he's a Titan. I know he's not actually Odin. He's a representation of Odin. He's actually a Titan. I get it. Don't freak out. I just didn't care for it. I'm entitled to my opinion. That's fine. <laughs> you feel how you feel, even if you're wrong. Okay, Old Duar. Uh, I don't think there's really a question about this. Um, wait, that's not Old Duar. Wait, what's that? Wait, that's not Old Old Deer. Oh, Old Deer. What the fuck is Old Deer? What is Old Deer, guys? <laughs> Um, yeah, what the hell is old, old year? What? What's what's um, I, I literally don't know. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, we did. Oh, freaking Cahoon. Yeah, we didn't raid this. Oh, we, we didn't do this. Um, we didn't. No, this is we I did this in really LFR. I LFR'd this. this. Yeah, we did. I mean, yeah, we did some of the fights in LFR, but I didn't really like, I don't think I've ever fought this fight. I, even if I, I like, I didn't care for it. I did not care for it at all. Granted, I did not care for the entire Battle of Azeroth expansion. I think it's probably one of the worst expansions ever. But I, yeah, I'm going to rank it as a D. I did do some of it. I'm not going to classify it as I didn't do it because I did. But I just, I, I don't think it's very good. I did not think it was good. Guys, I'm going to put it in, in never done because I remember doing Mother 
And I remember doing Gahoon. Yeah, this is a stupid film. And story. I'm pretty sure that it was on LFR. And I I don't want to credit the whole raid with being good or bad with having just done two bosses on LFR. Like, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I didn't, again, I didn't care for Battle of Azeroth. I liked Battle of Azeroth from a PvP perspective. Because I, again, monks, uh, Mistweavers were pretty good. And I did a Mistweaver in, in Arena. They were pretty good then. But I didn't, I didn't care for the PVE side of, um, of Battle for Azeroth. Just didn't care for it. Which, I mean, if you, if, to be fair, I guess that might have even been the intent. I mean, it is Battle for Azeroth, Horde versus Alliance, you know that kind of thing. But I, I just didn't care for it. Yeah, it's I think that so was stupid. like the whole point is yeah. to pit us against each other. Right. There. Now, Olduar, Olduar on the hand, S tier. I mean, it's just, oh, God, I love that raid. It was so beautiful. It had a lot of cool things. Uh, you got to drive a tank at the very beginning. Um, we're, we're, well, what am I in? Oh, I'm in dungeons. Sorry. Um, yeah, you got to drive a tank. Uh, Ignis, the furnace master. Very cool. Razor scale dropped a cool looking mount. Uh, who doesn't like XT? It's I true. mean, come on. He really who, is probably one of the cutest raid Who doesn't bosses. love this fight, right? I mean, it who is. doesn't love this? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's pretty just, good, actually. It's actually so good. I mean, who doesn't like this fight, right? Um, assembly of iron, clusterfuck of a fight, but, you know, still kind of cool. Um, I think this was... Was this the first time that you had a boss like this with where you had to kill the arms and it was like half a body? Uh, it's since been done at yeah. Ag Agnesium now, but I think this may have been the first time. Um, Oriaya, this was actually a kind of a, a cool fight with the little... The opening pull. If you got the, this is a fight where if you got the opening pull, then you would kill the boss. Plain and simple. But if you didn't get the opening pull with the the cats that would come out and and mm -hmm. one shot your tank, yeah. If you didn't get that right, it was a wipe. So it was a very <laughs> unique fight where you either survived the first five seconds and it was a kill. Or you didn't. You die immediately. <laughs> or you die immediately. At least you don't waste your time. <laughs> exactly. There's that. Exactly. Ho oh dear, very cool. The frozen uh standing in the, <laughs> the sunlight or standing on top of on snow the piles. piles. Yeah. Cool. Uh Thorium, where you had to divide up into two groups. Also oh, very yes. cool. Freya, very, very awesome cool fight. Room. One of the coolest rooms, I you think. You can make it hard mode by not killing any of these things. Very cool. Memron one of the hardest fights my gosh uh if you were going if you were doing it hard mode if you were weren't doing it hard mode it's pretty face roll but if you were doing it hard mode my god was it tough general Vizax, uh difficult but doable yogg fucking insane fight but the coolest thing of yogg so they took the go into the eye mechanic from Cthune and they improved it tenfold in that you saw visions of very cool events. I, I remember when we were progressing on this fight, some of us simply wanted to go in. And I remember we spent a few wipes simply going into each of the vision rooms just to see it from a lore perspective, <laughs> just so we could see it. And then we then we progress. So super cool. And then of course Alagon, um, if you were to get if you were able to unlock it and everything, a cool fight. So overall, S tier for me. Um, it's gonna be A for me just because I don't have um I didn't get to do it current content. I feel like if I got to do it current content, it would be an S for me, but I'm gonna give it an A just because it's all been so very easy every time yeah. I do it. So it's just been kind of a roll, but I can see how unique it is and how every fight is different. And I think it's, it's a really cool design. Yeah. I, and I, and you're right, Moose. I think we got one of these, like we had, we had, we had gotten the mounts from doing the glory of the Raider. And then there was a third mount too that dropped. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, I remember when they came back from time walking that we got it. And I was surprised that I didn't already have it, but yeah, I had gotten all of these mounts like when it was still fresh. Okay, uh, right. next one, is, or the last one, Vault. Well, there you go, honey. That's another PvP Vault. vault. That's another PvP raid. Why do I not remember I that only one? know this place because I farmed it for the Black War Mammoth. Otherwise, it's completely negligible to me. I don't oh. have any care in the world for this place. 
I actually completely D. forgot about this one. And honestly, I don't remember it. You don't remember it? It's just hallways where you kill like um, golems. It's just golem hallways. Whole thing. Super boring. But this wasn't an actual raid instance though, was it? Yes, it is. Why do I not remember this one? Because it sucks. <laughs> that was the Wintergrass one. Yeah, it was. So it wasn't yes. an instance. I remember once you won Wintergrass, you could then go into like the back room, and there would be a boss, and then you go and kill it. But it wasn't a separate zone, right? I think it might. Or be. did you actually zone into it? it? Was. Yeah, I think it it does have a zone. So which came first? What was the other one we said? Oh, that was Kata, so. Oh, so so, so it wasn't the first. Was so before Kata. so this was before Kata. Yeah, I mean, I I'm going to rank it in the same. I mean, uh, I don't remember what I ranked in the other one. I still think I'll I'll rank it. What did I put the other one? I put it at Baradin's hold. I, I'm going to put it higher than that because well, I think well, it was you don't even remember it. You're going to put it higher than other things. No, I'm going to put it as a C because, it, well, no, I, I kind of agree with you. I'm going to put it as a D because there was a difference. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There is a difference on this. Now, I'm not, I'm, I can't see any loot because brewmasters weren't a thing. Wait, no. Why am I not seeing any loot? Oh, there we go. No, they dropped, they dropped PVP gear as well. Okay, so it was an exact replica then. Yeah, it was Zach Replica. <sighs> I'm still going to put it. What did I put it at? Mm. Where did I just put it? Um, uh, you put it as C, you told me, and then you said, no, never mind. So I have no idea where you put it. Where did I just put it? Oh, I put it as a D. Yeah, I'm going to put it as a D. I, I didn't. Obviously, I don't remember it very well. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. The vault is the one you only kill one boss per week. Yeah, I think it like rotated which boss it was. Each patch, they would add a boss with new gear. That's why you, you would only kill one boss because it would be the... Oh, okay. That oh, makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, and I'm even looking. Yeah, one of it was Hateful Gear, Deadly, Furious, and then Relentless. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Stupid. Yeah, yeah. No, I think this one is worse because essentially it was the same... It was a, it was reskins, and that, that's what made me furious about it. At least Barry and Hold was unique fights. But this was just... I mean, look at this boss. Who, who does this boss remind you of? Oh, I just hit it, but um, hang on. Uh, here we go. Who does who does this boss remind you of? I mean, this is a literal. This isn't a, a reskin. This is the literal same model. <laughs> the as... one. Yeah. Hello, Doc Johnson. <laughs> Hi, Ignis. <laughs> it's the exact it's, same yeah. freaking boss. And this this guy, Steelbreaker. Where does that look familiar from? <laughs> I mean, it's just lazy. It's absolutely lazy. At least this, I mean, this is a reskin. Um, and this, oh God, this is an actual mob that you see running around in this. This isn't even a raid boss. This yeah. is just a regular mob. So that's why, in my opinion, the vault was worse because at least, at least Tolberard had unique, uh, boss or variant holds yeah this was unique i guess it's a pit lord but it was a unique pit lord okay fuck maybe i'm wrong are you okay serious? maybe yeah no, okay these this are is the chromatic most generic of generic models also okay that's that's black temple that's nefarian's lair okay fuck me what do i know then all right so yeah they, they use the same models pvp too. raids blow the end <laughs> that is just the end of it pvp raids Apparently are balls so.